Middle of the night, they kicked the observers out. Then they went back and, and kept looking at ballots. They're finding them under the tables. I mean, I, this is like a banana Republican. It, people, I'm, I'm, well, I'm telling I, you what people are saying about that. Yeah, no, I, I completely understand. So according to the witnesses, the Republican observers, there is a lady who has blonde braids who comes out to announce we're going to stop counting. Everyone go home. Four people stay behind. You're going to watch this place be busy and filled up to emptied. Okay, so 10.25, they're still there. Let's go to 10.35. So here you see it's all cleared out. We just went from 10.25 to 10.37. The place is a ghost town. But notice who stays behind. You have four people, consistent with our affidavits, who stayed behind. That video is a bombshell. You saw the media and the observers leave the room at the same time. That tells you they were told to leave. Why were they told? After a busted pipe at State Farm Arena caused a bit of a delay earlier today. Well, it is. You're talking about 40,000 ballots that were at State Farm Arena when that water main break happened, and uh, those will not be counted tonight. Those will be counted uh, tomorrow. Okay, is it normal to store suitcases of ballots under a table, under a tablecloth? What was the chain of custody? Where did they come from? Who so now they're gonna start pulling these ballots out from under this table. This table, the black one, was placed there by the lady with the blonde braids at about 8.22 a.m. in the morning. So she put that table there. So the same person who's staying behind now, the same person who cleared the place out under the pretense that we're going to stop counting, is the person who put the table there. So wh what are these ballots doing there, separate from all the other ballots? And why are they only counting them whenever the place is cleared out with no witnesses? These machines can process about 3,000 ballots an hour. So you do the math. How many ballots went through those machines in those two hours when there was no one there to supervise, to be present, consistent with your statutes and rules? These are people who are not involved in voter fraud. I'm telling you, they're doing their jobs every day. It is hard. We believe that could easily be, and probably is certainly, beyond the margin of victory in this race. If it's only three scanners working for two hours, right, that's 18,000 ballots that went through. And so if we were to sit here for the next two hours, what we would see is that this operation just goes on and on and on. We believe that the ba ballots uh, were counted accurately with the machine count. This is the end of their operation. They've now completed about two hours of unsupervised tabulation of ballots. Update breaking news today from the Gateway Pundit. Breaking exclusive open records request finds no invoices or work orders on reported election day water main break in Atlanta. Hmm. So this is an attorney who was attempting to obtain more information on the reported water main break in Atlanta. So he sent a letter to and requesting any information related to this. These messages were with the senior vice president of the Atlanta Hawks, Jeffrey Stiles, who called it a slow leak that was contained quickly. And he said the entire thing was highly exaggerated. You know, I called early on for a signature audit. Obviously, the Secretary of State, per the laws and the Constitution, would have to order that. He has not done that. With the margin being so close, it will require a full by hand recount in each county. This will help build confidence. It will be an audit, a recount, and a recanvas all at once. The Secretary of State oversaw a complete audit, which revealed significant errors made in several counties like this character in georgia who's a disaster and the governor's done nothing he's done absolutely nothing i'm ashamed that i endorsed him as governor i have a solemn responsibility to follow the law and that is what i will continue to do we must all work together to ensure citizens have confidence in future elections in our state thank you and god bless <laughs>